Come on, let's go to the house. Okay, dude, let's do it. Well, hello, friends, and uh, welcome to uh, another episode of Brent's Fan Life. I'm Brent, and this is Brent's Van Life. This is my little buddy, the dude, and we travel in a 20 foot Bluebird school bus. I woke up about an hour ago. It's a little before 8 o'clock, and man, it was cold. <laughs> It was pouring down rain again last night. Not windy, because I think we're actually protected. So it could have been, but man, did it rain. So the temperature dropped extremely. So this morning was quite cold, so I stayed in bed for an extra hour. We're up. It's sunny. And we have to hit the road. But before we hit the road, let's have a little peek around. Hey, dude. Uh, we are between Tufnell and Foam Lake on Yellowhead 16 on a little rest area. I can't even remember. Range Road something. Hey, I'm trying to do a video here. Bradley. A lovely young lady there showed up in her little uh, John Deere quad and she's out checking on the washrooms. Very well capped, very well treed. This would come in handy in the summertime. These little treed in areas with all, there's full of uh, little picnic tables in here, but they come in really handy here in the flatlands of Canada here in Saskatchewan where it's flat and there is no trees. So it's a great place to cool off on your drive up Yellowhead 16. I am a probably three hours out of Saskatoon, but we're just heading up the road a little bit further to another one of these. Love Yellowhead 16. But let's put the drone up and have a look. You see what I mean by flatlands and no trees? So in the summer, it gets hot out here and there's no protection. Bit of wind. So having these little places is like a blessing in disguise. We're about to head north here on Yellowhead 16. We're heading towards Saskatoon. We should be there by tomorrow sometime. Let's get out of here. Anybody looking for a good used uh, pickup truck, early Ford? <laughs> it's pretty crazy the amount of uh, old metal you see like that lying around in farmer's fields. I love that stuff. Okay, we're on the road. Hey, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Every time. I have an elastic band that I put around it. <laughs> Guess what Brent forgot to do. Okay, it's roly-poly time. <coughs> Come here, let me see. Where's that guy? 
Crazy. There he is. There he is, dude. Hanging on to your hair. I hate these guys. Can you see that? No, it's a tick. We've been having a tick festival here. Uh, when we were in southern Manitoba, they started to hit us. Big ones, right? They're not biting. Uh, I think he's had one bite, but we've probably pulled close to a dozen off of me and of him. They just kind of hang on and go for the ride. I have noticed the further north we go, the smaller they get, the harder they are to find. <laughs> so I just keep rubbing them down and wait for I can feel a little knot. And it's usually one. And I was just petting him as we were driving, and that's how I knew he had one. Yuck. I hate ticks. So I'm driving down the highway, and I see that huge body of water. It's called Quill Lake here in Saskatchewan. Didn't know it was that big because I saw it on the map, but this is Kandahar. And it's like half empty. <laughs> this must have been their old uh, town hall, I guess. Look at that. It's just gorgeous in here. They're taking good care of the property. It looks like this place just sold. When I noticed the, uh, the the big lake, it was all on farmland, and this is the first town to see if I could get into the town to access the lake. And then I saw that building, and I'm like, oh, I have to go in here. I would say 50% of the buildings in this town are like condemned, and nobody's living in them. And the other half are well maintained, and there's probably a dozen homes in here. <laughs> okay, it was a cool little thing. I couldn't get onto the lake, so we'll head her back down the road. You just never know what you're gonna see, so stick your nose down some of these roads. And you'll be amazed. Uh, one local did come out. I saw him walk in his backyard, stare down the road at me, so I gave him a big wave. He waved back. And I bet you I could have got some stories out of him, but we're on a mission. Let's get going. This lake is huge. We're probably five kilometers or more away from that last stop. We're at the edge of the lake now, but crazy. saw this super awesome uber looking well-preserved farm that I wanted to go and investigate as I was had the camera focused on the uh, train there I'm gonna check out this barn and house like everything that's the house on on the left there and you can see the front of it as I was driving northbound and is facing south the barn looks immaculate and he, there's nothing there just yeah and then I found the road that I needed to take excuse me 
So I quickly pulled over and saw this. And in Saskatchewan, that means you're not going there. <laughs> I made this mistake once already. I'm not going to do it again. And plus, I also noticed this on the back side of that old barn farm. It looks like it's on property of somebody else's. So, you win some. And you lose some. Well, let's get back on the road. What do you think, dude? These highway rest stops along Highway 16 of the Yellowhead are truly amazing. I have never seen such well-planned, well-laid-out places for travelers to pull over, get some shade, get some rest, enjoy their time while traveling through Saskatchewan. Not bad. The size of these lots are huge. You can probably get three or four units at each one. It's still windy though, but I got this whole place to myself. Look at that, eh? And each site basically is huge. It has its own trash can. What do you think? Do you like having the whole campsite to yourself? Yeah. I bet you there's a good five acres here. Uh, okay, maybe three ish. Three to five. There was one camper here when I got here earlier. He's gone. And there's a gentleman relaxing over there in his van reading a book. Other than that, I'm the only one here, and you saw the size of my camp. It's ridiculous. But I'm going through some mental issues right now, and I'm trying to, I don't know, figure things out. It gets this way sometimes on the road, being old, you know, so, well, old, but older, uh, 61 years old. This is by year four on the road. And, uh, yeah. I kind of want to go home. <laughs>